The wait for the Nintendo Switch 2 is almost over. Fans have been eagerly anticipating its reveal, and according to recent reports, the full announcement is expected on April 2, 2025. This news has sparked excitement not just among Nintendo fans, but also among gamers who usually focus on other platforms. The original Switch was a game changer in the industry, and now, expectations are even higher. People are curious about what new innovations Nintendo will bring this time. One of the biggest questions surrounding the Switch 2 is its Joy-Con design. The original Joy-Cons introduced motion controls, HD rumble, and an innovative detachable system. But will Nintendo stick with this design, or will they introduce something completely new? Another interesting rumor is about mouse functionality. If true, this could mean a shift toward better precision in certain games, possibly opening the door for more PC-style experiences on the Switch 2. Apart from that, gamers are eager to know how the overall hardware will differ from the original Switch and whether it will have better ergonomics, durability, and improved connectivity. A new console is only as strong as its games, and fans are waiting to see what Nintendo has in store. The announcement of new game titles will be a crucial moment. Many are hoping for new entries in classic franchises like Zelda, Mario, and Metroid. The big question is how these new games will compare to previous hits on the original Switch. Another major topic is backward compatibility. If the Switch 2 allows players to carry over their existing game library with performance improvements, it could make the transition much smoother and more appealing for existing Switch owners. One of the most interesting aspects of the Nintendo Switch 2 is its AI upscaling technology. A recently discovered patent suggests that Nintendo might be working on a technique similar to DLSS, Deep Learning Super Sampling. If true, this could allow the system to improve the resolution and visual quality of games without needing extremely powerful hardware. What's even more exciting is the possibility that this upscaling won't be limited to new games. Instead, it might enhance older Switch 1 titles, making them look better on the new hardware. Another key detail from the patent is the mention of 540p resolution. This has led to some speculation. Could this mean that older Switch games will receive automatic resolution boosts on the Switch 2? If the system can take a low-resolution game and enhance it significantly, it could breathe new life into many classic titles. However, some concerns remain about whether this technology will be used only for upscaling or if it will be part of the core rendering process for new games. AI-driven upscaling is becoming a major trend in the gaming industry. Even high-end consoles like the PlayStation 5 Pro are expected to use similar techniques, such as PSSR and FSR4, to improve graphics performance. The Switch 2 might use a comparable approach to compete with modern gaming standards despite having weaker hardware. This technology could be particularly useful for handheld gaming. If the Switch 2 can upscale old low-resolution games, such as Xenoblade Chronicles 2 in handheld mode, it could greatly improve visual quality without requiring developers to update their games. This would extend the lifespan of existing Switch titles and make the Switch 2 a more attractive upgrade for long-time Nintendo fans. However, questions remain about how the upscaling will work in different scenarios. Will it be hardware-based, or will it require the dock to function properly? If the upscaling is handled directly on the console, it could impact battery life, especially during portable gaming sessions. Finding the right balance between performance and efficiency will be crucial for Nintendo. Not everyone is convinced that 540p will be a baseline resolution for new Switch 2 games. Some believe this resolution is only mentioned in the patent because of backward compatibility features rather than being a target for upcoming titles. Most expect native Switch 2 games to aim for at least 720p or 1080p, ensuring a better visual experience than the original Switch. Another debate is whether upscaling will be a hardware-based feature or if it will rely on Nintendo's dock for additional processing power. If the upscaling is done in handheld mode, it could have an impact on battery life. On the other hand, if it's mostly dock-dependent, then the visual improvements may not be as noticeable when playing on the go. These are some of the key questions fans are hoping Nintendo will answer during the official reveal. The Nintendo Switch 2's rumored AI upscaling technology could be a game-changer, not just for new games but also for enhancing older titles. The patent suggests that Nintendo is focused on improving visuals while maintaining efficiency. However, many details remain unclear, such as how well it will perform in handheld mode, whether it will work independently of the dock, and what impact it will have on battery life. With the April 2, 2025 reveal expected soon, 
fans are eagerly waiting for official confirmation of these features. If the Switch 2 delivers on its promises, it could once again redefine portable gaming and maintain Nintendo's dominance in the hybrid console market. For now, all eyes are on Nintendo, and the gaming world is ready for the next big chapter in the Switch era.